we'll reset until like I don't know when we'll reset until we get a good spawn if we don't get a run going by 11 my time so that's nine minutes time so that includes getting sea glides so a good spawn on sea glides by 11 and then if it has a rad, bad rad warning it dies and that'll be the end of stream if it has a good rad warning we'll continue Attention. so a good one in this context will be sub 12 definitely uh, this is an acceptable spawn I mean it's not too far off where mine was last time so I guess that's fine So it'll come down to sea glides now. We need to pay attention to what fish we get as well. So there's a bladder fish, that's good. We get carry fish now since he's right there. There's a sea glide. It's not too far down, so may as well get it now. If I can get a second one before going all the way to the wreck, that'll be really good. I don't rate my chances, but it would be really good. Hey Laura, how's it going? Long time no see. Looking for boxes. I guess we're going all the way to the wreck. We have a box. There's also a beacon over here. I'll try and remember that for later. What about me? Yeah, I've been going alright. Yeah, exactly, under the circumstances. I'm doing better than most, so I can't really complain too much. Like, my work is not affected by shutdowns or anything. We're still working because we're all working remotely. So, yeah, I really can't complain. Boomerang, please. There we go. Went a little bit too far out of the way for that. Free tooth. Hype. Just grab that now, may as well. It means I just don't have to come back here, really. Two of those. So I still need a peeper and a hoop fish. Get them on the way up as well. Still open bad just now. Eh, yeah. Yeah, I imagine your work you'd be in close contact with people, which doesn't seem like a smart idea. So that's a bit... Yeah, I don't know what the circumstances are like over in the Netherlands in terms of uh, cases and stuff and community spread, but yeah, it seems inadvisable. Uh, yeah, what can you do? Completely not been counting. <laughs> I'll just clear what I can. Is this greed? This is a little bit of greed. Perfect greed. It's fine. It's fine. See you, Dix. So we've got everything, actually I've got too many mushrooms. Up we go. Battery. Battery. I mean, Clove's record was also bound by the radiation warning. So, you know. 
I mean, I'll take it, but it is readably, readily beatable. So we're hoping for a better warning this run. I'm not optimistic, but we'll see. This is already quite slow getting back because I faffed around a lot, but... So I need like three more quarts, I think. more quarts I think they'll get a few more one two three Let's grab some metal actually I think that's all the quartz that I'll need, so I'll grab one more just in case, because I'm often wrong. And over we go, and we actually have to go out for oxygen. Imagine, it's because my base is further away. And we can grab some more limestone. Alrighty. Yeah, a little bit slow. Up we go. Also, my chat window has gone a bit skew if, which is annoying. Uh, we just make that. Grab all of this out. It looks like I've got enough stuff. In fact, I've got a bit too much stuff. One of those, one of those. Should be fine for me to build the solar panel down here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You know. I'm just going to dump this lead. It'll be there if I need it, but I only need four on the entire run anyway. No, don't roll away. Yeah, I picked up way too many anyway. Ah, uh, good. Perfect. There we go. Um, I'll grab everything else out of here now. Uh, my tools seem to have been swapped around. That's weird. We'll deal with that in a bit. Make these. Dump all of this. And here. And all of these in here. Three and one. Keep three of those on me. some stuff so one two three four five six one two three it's technically all I need but I'll just grab some metal I guess maybe I shouldn't bother I want to check this wreck and scan for some things grab trap good that way I know that I've got it yes yeah, another one good Oh, I've already got it. Of course. Well, we'll just get some free metal then, I guess. I'll grab the counter. It's just not be getting it in the Aurora otherwise. That's fine. Two of those. Hey, a typical light. So why did I get the notification for you hosting, but I didn't for Cloves? That's weird. Let's get that one. Back we go. Hello there. 
General Kenobi. Back we go, and I should really have actually been collecting sandstone and stuff during this time. Never mind. Not efficiently using time. Oof. And that. And this. And one. Two of those. Grab the two glass and the metal out of there. Take my tank off. Do that. Dump everything else in here. Keep one of those on me. And now we go upstairs. Picard. <laughs> Wrong movie. Close enough. T. Earl Grey. Hot. Over we go. So this is now in the dark, which is a bit awkward. But I can come in here, which is well lit at least. And get the two from here. So I need eight silver question mark no i need ten and that's two of them and i've got two lead as well three and three so that's all the lead that i need and i've got four silver Five silver, six silver. I also haven't noticed a radiation warning yet. Six silver. So this is probably going to be dead run. And in which case, dead stream. Seven silver. Nothing up there. Uh, oh, here we go. 11.46. That's a good warning. We have a run. So it's seven silver still. I actually got quite a bit of copper already. I don't think I actually need too much more. That should certainly do it. So it's seven silver out of the ten that I need. Let's go in here. Eight. usually end up with too much gold in this run, which is amusing. Nine. Oh, go away, Mesma. Ten. I believe that's all of the sandstone that I need. So I guess we just grab a bunch of metal at this point. Sure. Uh, four, those, everything else. Should have kept gold on me. Never mind. Uh, and I should grab more of this. One, two, three, four, five. Let's go for here. I'll need to get more metal. That's right. Do that on the way to the wreck. Six, seven, eight. And if I can get some more metal, that would be nice. If there is any, there's one. Oh, I'm full. Uh, one space, okay. It's because that bloody table coral that I kept that I probably shouldn't have. Because I didn't keep any gold on me anyway. So this is going to be a little bit awkward, but we're just going to go up and grab out that simply so I can go down and get the second fabricator built. Not that I have much power to actually do anything with it at the moment, but I can clear my inventory of that stuff at least. And now I can properly get out stuff. Yeah, so when I'm doing storage swap at that point, I need to really remember to leave enough room for or keep a gold basically is the point. Um, do that, and uh, screw, we'll just make an ingot. We don't have enough. Yes, we do. Uh, 
Oh, and it's actually starting to be daytime, which means I'm actually slightly slow, so that's annoying. Um, I also kind of just really want to dump most of this stuff. Uh, keep two of them on me. And go upstairs and make the rebreather. You're actually a bit slow here. Radiation was like 1140, so we're actually on a good pace here. Which is nice. We kind of want pace anyway. We're a, a little bit slow because we actually want to be heading over to the wreck before now, I think. It's always a bit awkward with nighttime and power and you know all of that stuff. So I can grab all the metal that I need at least. Three. I don't have two raw metal on me again because I'm a fool. I should also be going to life pod three first because that's where I get my raw metal and I need to go there anyway. So that's fine, I'll just yeah, it's all metal collection here at this point, and then I'll be backtracking a little bit. Uh, inventory full, good. So that is eight. So I only need like four more or something. So now I'll scan this to get the free metal that I need to deconstruct the wreck and go. I haven't been to the help wreck either so I do actually need to be mindful of the fact that I need a floodlight probably won't matter because there'll still be a ton of mobile vehicle bay in that wreck anyway but whatever oh, I need to eat something apparently well I'll need to grab some fish anyway I can't remember what fish I've actually grabbed and what I haven't hoop fish well, there we go chomp they don't give much uh, spade fish, where are you? There we go. Release. Should be getting oxygen as I come over here. Miss PDA, I'm not doing 100%. <laughs> I'm doing blueprints. Though I do often habitually grab them anyway. Uh, command chair. I'll grab these three things here instead. So I just need to remember I need a floodlight later, but there's one of the bowl bricks, that's fine. Peeper, yeah, I'm not sure if I've grabbed a peeper yet. Probably not. Oh, that's good sea moths, that's good. I mean, not gonna lie, having seen you do Hundo Rubix is making me want to do it again, so you'll have to watch your back. Make this go pop. I'm just going to leave the thing there because I don't think I need it again. So, propulsion cannon. So that's one of those. One laser cutter. I need to make sure I actually get everything from here. Two laser cutter. One battery charger. Two battery charger. Two propulsion cannon, modification station, modification station, laser cutter. So one more modification station. Don't tell me there's not going to be one. Ugh. Well, that's frustrating. So I've got to hope that I get lucky at the jelly shroom cave, or I've got to go to another wreck. I also need bioreactor, there's one. So I need another bioreactor, scanner rooms as well. I mean, I should probably go up air as well. Let's go up air first. Don't need too much. use a flare instead of making a flashlight. I mean, I never made the flashlight. So, 
Or if I did, I probably would have ditched it as soon as I realized I couldn't actually use it while doing anything else. Like, while running. Bioreactor, good. That means I can split here. This is a long segment. That's a bit disappointing. And that modification station is going to be really annoying. Yeah, so we're a bit behind, unfortunately. It's a shame. I thought I was doing pretty well. I also need Reginald still. But I do know that I can get them at Sparse Reefs, so... I should have kept the Spadefish on me. It's fine, I'll just have a nutrient block. Or just eat an Oculus when I get down into the Jelly Shroom Caves. Single like Singale. Oh well. Hopefully you knew what I meant. Okay, so that's all of the things. Uh, one, two, three, four. One, two, one, should have made that first, never mind. Um, so I need that, I need that, I need one of those, and I'll keep one of them on me, I need to make those into meat kits. And I need to swap batteries and make propulsion cannon. And I'll have those. Okay, I think that's good. Looks good. Sure. Off we go. So. To the Jelly Shroom Caves. I don't think I need any extra scans or anything here either. I mean, I need the modification station from here, or the run is maybe not quite dead, but it's gonna be close. Power cell charger, thermal plant. I'm not looking good for the modification station. Means I'll need to go to another red grass wreck. Oh, go away. Didn't even hear him coming. It's annoying. Guess I'll probably have to burn one of my meat kits early just in case I get grabbed again. It's annoying. It's an eye eye. Cool. And an oculus, thank you. So it's one lithium. I need two diamonds. That's one. So much gold. Ugh. I also have too much metal on me. So that's two, two, and two. So now I just need two more lithium. Gonna use maintenance hatch, that's the idea. Oh, go away, you silly things. I think you don't lose oxygen at least with those, but they're so annoying. Three, so one more lithium. Good. Over we go, build a base, flood it. So we wasted a little bit of extra time just going on oxygen alone. There's a shell right here, whatever. Um, whoops. Um, that one. Before he grabs me, 
That guy's feisty today. Scan what I can before... Oh, it starts again. Scan what I can before drowning. Moonpool's good. Finishing that here is nice because it increases my chance of getting other things later. Finish the wall planter and die. Yeah, I think I finished the Seamoth. I mean, attacks would drain your O2 in terms of like just normal, um, you know, consumption. It's not so much they drain it, it's more just normal consumption. But when you're locked into an animation, I'm fairly sure the game doesn't tick down oxygen when you're when you don't have agency, basically, if that makes sense. If you can't control your character, oxygen does not deplete. It's like the ion cube cutscene and the cure cutscene and that sort of thing. Let's pop inside, shall we? Filtration machine. This is a little bit slower than last time, unfortunately, because I remember I had a lot more scanned before I drowned. But I think I also do have, um, I shouldn't actually wait for this, I should just leave, because I can get the double bed, I think, in the Aurora. The captain's quarters has a double bed. Out we go. So I'm fairly sure I already have the beacon as well. So I don't know if I need anything from these wrecks at all. One way to find out. No, I don't have the beacon at all. I saw them, but I didn't scan them. So there are two by the top wreck. Do have grav trap though. Oh, and there's one here. Good. So I don't have to go back there at all. That's useful. Okay, off we go. So you can just go straight in this time. Don't have to waste time with that wreck down there. Drowning in the middle of being cured. Yeah, that would suck. I mean, you joke. Selvna did test that. Because if you start drowning, like if you are at zero when you start, the dying cutscene, like the fade to black, that does not stop. That starts when you are at zero, and it continues. So you die halfway through the cure. So the thought was maybe it's a way to skip the cure animation. But the trigger for you actually being cured doesn't actually pop until the end of the animation. So you don't actually get cured. Oh, I just lost Super Sea Glide. Thankfully, I come prepared. Waste a little bit of time, but at least it doesn't kill the run, so that's a start. Now where were we? Locker room, prawn bay. Up. Too far back. Bar table. Um, what else do I need in here? Vending machine I didn't get this time. Counter I do, but I'll get the wall shelf from here. Already behind. Ugh. Yeah, this honestly isn't looking good. But, bearing in mind... The, um, the time I wasted getting the other mo oh I still need a modification station don't I oh my god yeah this is rough I needed to do that before coming in here really gross yeah single bed that might have been a bit too much damage I might not get the wall shelf but that's fine I'll get it later two six seven nine always the code Open the door, grab the thing, we'll try and scan this. Oh, perfect. Maybe. Coffee vending machine is in the deep grand reef, but it's also at a shallows wreck. We just don't go past it in this. Okay, so... Dump those. 
grab one of those, grab one of those, two of those in fact, grab this, we grab this, we grab one of them, dump that. So, where to go? I guess we'll try the wreck over here, the tools wreck, and see if there's any modification station in there. Yeah, there's actually a coffee vending machine um, in a shallows wreck near the Aurora. There's none in here, is there? Oh, there's one. Oh, praise be. Praise be unto dog. So this is actually very similar to last run then. <laughs> this is pretty comparable because we need to do a very similar thing. We just went to a different place. Not quite as far though, I think. So there's that. And I didn't actually waste the time of trying to build one last time. Bonk, take off the tank, make that. I should really be trying to be more efficient with this and... Oh no, because I need the diamond so I can't actually make the um, laser cutter at the same time. that in two. Yeah, that should be fine. And off we go. So I don't think that wasted as much time. Baby steps and all that. So if we come, we go over this wreck. Over this bit of the kelp forest. And we went a bit far to the left. Over here. Hope that we aren't getting completely lost in this zone because we actually missed some landmarks. Oh, here we go. Good. Unusual doll. Good. Off we go. Doing this at night is always a little bit on the oof side of the force. Down we go. To the wreck. So, starting from the bottom. Office chair. Gel sack, because why not? Scanning room for point, because I'm fairly sure I need at least one more. Yep, just one more. Drill arm, good. Hopefully there's another somewhere be really nice. Yes, good. That's nice to know. So now thermal plant is the other thing that I would get from here, but I can get it from sparse, so it's not the end of the world. We don't have an aggressive warp around here today, so that's good. Uh, grapple arms is otherwise what I'd be looking for in here, but I don't seem to see any. But I can deconstruct the wreck after getting this see if there are any around because I can get the other blueprint from here elsewhere oh and there is some thermal plant over there amazing how much easier it is to see when the wreck's gone hey grapple arm good both of them in fact there's another thermal plant over the other side there as well I guess we can get it now I kind of want to make sure that we have enough oxygen to do this without... Oh, I already had it. Okay, oh, I got one in the uh, jelly shroom cave. Never mind. I didn't get the PDA though, but never mind. 16 drill arms in it. That must have either been the underwater islands wreck or the dunes wreck. And if you'd already gotten all of the other blueprints that would normally appear at those places then it will only show, it will only load in things that you don't already have. That's why it's quite important in this to try and get blueprints. Uh, if you get lucky with, um, I should have grabbed that as I was leaving. I also need a Reginald still. Which you can get from here theoretically, but 
And we come. Grab that. Down. Grab this. Interesting that the orange tablet doesn't have an animation. Let's see whether or not I'll have enough oxygen. We'll grab this. And we'll see if I can survive all the way up to the island. I think I should have enough. I forget what I was at last time when I was doing this. So I need two rubies, one gel sack, and a Reginald from the sparse reef. At minimum. How do you get some nautical remotes? They are my emotes. Um, I took them from a screenshot of a um, game that I have from my casual save. Uh, so you can use channel points to unlock them. Or subscribe. <laughs> I don't mind if you subscribe to get them. But otherwise you can use channel points to unlock some emotes. The Seamoth's the only one that you'll be able to get uh, natively. Um, I do also have a rocket and cyclops, but they are tier one, uh, tier three and two respectively. Up uh, we go, and scan the bulkhead. Eight K points. You saw the Minecraft incentive. I'll probably get rid of that to be honest, because I actually have like zero interest whatsoever in playing that. Scan the grow bed first this time, scan the tablets. Yeah, I put it through it in there as sort of a meme, because everyone's going, oh, you should play Minecraft. But yeah, I lost interest in that game very quickly. And jump and split and in. You can play together, yeah, but it's not a very interesting game to play together the thing. Also, time zones, man. <laughs> Playing together with anyone is very difficult with my time zone. So if we go to the sparse reef now. So we need two rubies and one more gel sack and six lithium. There's one. And original. Thank you. It's also very dark in here, which is annoying. It's two rubies. It's a shale, which is gold, of course. Another couple of shales. That's two lithium, I think. Spade fish eggs. Really don't need them game. Four is it, I think. I can check. Yeah, four, and I need that gel sack. I need the blood oil and uh, spine fish. So I need two more lithium still. Uh, there must be a shale around here because that's a shadow of one. Five. Six. Cool. That's nice. So, what am I getting here? It's pretty much going to be just torpedo arms. Can you delete the island? I don't think so. It doesn't let you clip into it. A Seamoth height. <laughs> so, I've got the thermal plant. I've got the moon pool. I've got the scanner room. So, yeah. There's literally nothing else to actually show up here. Oh, a power cell. Which will hopefully be inside the base. Then I'll probably need to go up for some air. God, this takes forever. I could probably just drown and respawn, actually. Bonk. Uh, light stick fragment. Sure, why not? Is there a power cell thing? No, that's annoying. Or did, did I already get that? I might have already got the other one of the... We'll find out. No, I didn't. That takes too long. There we go. Good. Now I've got it. Um, let's just go grab the ion cubes now. 
and I'll die and respawn because I've got plenty of things I can use to flood a base wherever it happens to be and then that'll be the only things that I actually need to save my inventory with see my vibe yeah, you used to be able to like terraform land back in early access days if your base was going to clip into land it would actually modify the mesh but I think they found that doing that made a huge performance impact because <laughs> it was just another thing that the game had to keep track of in the game state. And to the rink. And a hatch. And flood it with a fish. It's going to pop out and just scan this and this before I drown. I want to make the most of some time. Should have dropped the blood thing as well. Near to look into the life pod before radio clue. Excellent idea. Yes, I, I had forgotten about his prowess. Yeah, see if there's anything obvious with it anyway. Depends on how much is actually exposed in the code for it. There's another hull fragment. So that's two. It's the first re um, reactor fragment, but that should be at the mountain base anyway, so it's not the end of the world. Grab this. Propulsion arm. One of the plant pots. Plant shelf. Another hull fragment. It's all of them. That's nice. Uh, so bridge, please. There's one. Propulsion arm. See you, Jacko. I'll be on for another half an hour, I guess. Maybe. Depends how this run goes, really. I've already got hull, so I need one more bridge, isn't it? There's another nuclear reactor. So much oxygen. <laughs> so, one more bridge, please, game. There's another nuclear reactor. I mean, it means I don't have to get it later, so there's that. One more bridge, though. We'll go down into the cave in case there's a few down here, as there sometimes is. It's always worth checking. Not today. One more bridge. <sighs> Not hull. It's always the bridge. There we go. Another cool t tool called the Terraformer, yeah. It was stupid. <laughs> and yeah, ultimately I think they just found that it was too much to keep track of. And yeah, killed the progression as well. There, and there. A little bit over, sadly. That bridge was annoying. It's going to be... Honestly, my PB is actually going to be quite hard to beat now, I think. Um, so now we want to get that, we want to do the battery swap out of that, and the battery swap into that, so that we can make... I'll do that, and I don't need to get one of those out, that's right. Uh, I want that back, I also want one of those, I'll eat those, one of those, two of those... One of those. Um, need the power cell back. There we go. Start making that and sort out the rest of my life. Don't need that. So I've got four. I've got plenty of that. I've got too much gold, in fact. I actually dumped some.
because that's going to be annoying. I'm going to keep the Reginald for base flooding purposes in case I need it. I also haven't checked what other fragments I still need. Yeah, suck performance and frame rate right out of the game, yeah. So I got rid of it. Yeah, it also would have just absolutely broken their progression and stuff, because yeah. You could just basically drill straight down, I guess. I'm not sure I ever actually played around with the terraforming tool itself. I remember being able to do it with bases, I don't remember the tool for it. I kind of started playing it soon after it came out, had a bit of a toy with it, and then left it for ages. And then came back later on when it was still in early access, but after that added like the Cyclops and stuff. Cyclops was invulnerable to start with, which was super nice. <laughs> I uh, keep going until the radiation disappears. And then go down. I mean, as soon as the Cyclops was able to take damage, it was useless. <laughs> it's as simple as that. We'll get the power sucked out of it. So, I still get so much scanner room around here, even though I'm fairly sure I've already got it. Floodlight, I'll remember it this time. Uh, the other plant pots. Oh, I still need the pinch too. Ooh, okay, what else am I lacking? Did I get a desk? Hmm. I'll be able to find out. Light stick, I don't think I got two of those. Good. Fairly sure I got two stasis rifles from the Jelly Shroom Cave at least. Down we go. Um, laser cutter. Dum -da -dum -da -dum. I wish there was a way that this could be faster. Grab that. Definitely got the chairs and stuff. Yeah, that looks like a desk there and I've got it, so that's good. Up we go. Out here so I already have the exterior grow bed this time I'm fairly sure so I should be all good to not have to worry about despawning this wreck pop pop off we go out this way. Extension to the Z dead zone. <laughs> okay, well you see moth didn't. You can actually outrun or just avoid the um, ghosts in the void reasonably easily. Like ghost leviathans, their attack is just like a ramming attack, so you just get out of the way. And triplaning the sea moth, I'm fairly sure, is faster than even the ghost leviathans in the void. It's probably not faster than the Sea Dragon, but that would be about the only thing that it would be slower than. One engine, two engine. Scanning the Ghost Leviathans is pretty easy. <laughs> you say hard. I mean, scanning the ones in the void is virtually impossible. The scan resets. And you've, you'll have two others harassing you while you try and scan one of them. But it's also pointless because it just gives you the adult ghost leviathan scan i'm fairly certain but other than that you just wait till they come at you pop off a stasis rifle shot and go to town what you want to do is you want to do just a quick shot first and then follow it up with a charged pulse Should be all from here. Out we go. Problem with the one in the blood kelp is the um, uh, the guide sometimes just doesn't pop in until you're really close. Scanning reapers is harder. No, because once again you just stasis rifle them and go to town. <laughs> stasis rifle is your friend when scanning any leviathan. A oh, light stick. I've already got a light stick. Let's double check though, because I don't want to have to come back to a place that has one. Good. 
Maybe I should just deconstruct the wreck to get out then. Anyway, out we go. Over to the gun. Seems like the split's going to be a little bit slow again. One tablet. Two tablets. Pick it up. So while I'm here, I'm going to take the battery out of this and put it into this while I think of it. And put uh, this on to yeah sure why not I want to put it on something else later but that's fine for now let's get some oxygen let them get really close to you yeah but not so close that they start their animation <laughs> you've also got to make sure you lead your target and don't try and do a charged shot straight away. You want to start with a small shot and then follow up with a charged shot. Yeah, we're up again. That's annoying. It's lagging behind in just little bits this run. Okay, this is awkward. Um, will you let me climb it like that? No. <sighs> I can't see what I'm doing. That's better. Out we go. Pick it up. Split. Yeah, so seven seconds behind on that one. It's still coming over from the treaders split mostly, but <laughs> Do I have a quartz? I do have a quartz, so I don't need to grab one of the amount of bounds. I can just go straight down. I could grab a sulfur, but I can't be bothered. Let's hope for a good nickel in this run again. I got really good nickel last run. I wonder if it'll show up well out of bounds. Probably would if it was there. But first it would actually have to be there. There's one. That's shale though. It's also shale. Lots of shale. Shale, shale, shale. There's a nickel. I mean, I will need to go into bounds to get the fish. But this is kind of fun. It's a lava, lava. Maybe we just go into bounds about now. Please. Okay, now it's going to get harder to see if it's going to turn green. Yeah, out we go. It's fun while it lasted. Now, magma ring. Thank you. So I still need one nickel. Is that an eye eye? Yes. Good. One more nickel, please, game. Thank you. No idea how well I'm going for oxygen and stuff. I've probably got too much stuff in my inventory too. One, two, really want four sulfur as well. Three, four and one don't need an extra thing to flood anything. There's three. I'm going to have to go foraging for a fourth sulfur. That's irritating. Do this. We'll flood this and then we'll just go inside. Of course it was right at the end. don't actually need Super Sea Glide at that point, and we do not want to take too much damage at this point because we are already in the danger zone, so to speak. 
We'll take a little jump out of here and that's it. Yeah, high highs are indeed the worst. Both regular and uh, red ones. So we'll take a little hop over here. That should be good. Should survive a tickle but die to the big jump. And I'm going to need to save my inventory again for out of bounds sulfur probably. I can either do that or go look for it. We'll try and get out of bounds sulfur. Wait, was that a sulfur over there? No, that was just the uh, lava. Come back here. Yeah. Normally when you can see out of bounds like that, it's fine. There we go, pop out of bounds, pick it up, because we want to use it again. Don't want to wait for it to float to the surface. There's a sulfur. Good. So we're going to have to build another base, unfortunately. God, I'm already up on the split. Oh boy, this is miserable. This is really bad. I don't know where I've lost all this time, to be honest. It's really hard to tell. It's just little bits that all add up, I guess. Seems my last run was actually really good. <laughs> I mean, radiation warning is going to help, but... So that's that, but now I need to waste more time building this base to save my inventory for the sake of that one sulfur. So I want to put that on five, that on two. There we go. A minute behind. Gross. Gross. Put that in there, put that in there, put that in there, put that in there, grab out all of this stuff, all of this stuff. I yeah, grabbed one too many other random things. Start making these. Keep Making these, make these, grab everything out that's actually relevant, don't need all of those. I'm at 152 again, that's good. So this is good, I haven't forgotten anything. Uh, this way. Still probably not going to be sub 1 though, I don't think. just because of the time it takes to build things, if nothing else. And I still need the radiation suit. Here, over here. Don't suppose it's on a tilt again, is it? It's on a slight tilt. Ah, it's tilting the wrong way now. That's annoying. I was able to get on without using the ladder last time. I think I'll be safe here. <laughs> so how long is the radiation warning going to actually take for the cylinder? Ah, I'm missing a lubricant. Swim of shame. And there's the radio... Ah, for God's sake. This isn't even going to be a PB now, I don't think. Did I leave the lubricant in the locker, or do I not have one? That's the big question. And it's so far to my base because it's a bad spawn. I left it? Yeah. <sighs> so annoying when this is the case. Because that would have been about the time that it took to build things. I left a nickel as well, you reckon? Oh, yeah. I was just scrolling too fast, I think. 
Yeah, you're right. Ah, uh, well. Rip me. <laughs> Rip sub one, that's for damn sure. This will still probably be another PB. I've just got two... St no, I've got three stages. This takes ages. Never mind. Oh. Ooh, almost bonked. Ah, uh, dear. It's always something. Still. Not bad. It would have been nice without all of that, though. That could have been a sub one. I'm not positive. Feels unlikely. But it would have been close. And I don't know why I lost so much time across the entire run. So we've got one more blueprint after this. Be a 101 something, I guess. But yeah, like, made up time at the Degacy section and lost time literally everywhere else. Yeah, not 101. Cool. So that's the 157. So we've got 9, 6, 9, 2, 14, 14, 16, 12, 6, 7, 11. 17, 4, 4, 8, 8, 4, 3, 3, 2, 2, 4, 3, 14, 19, 1. Didn't get to make the doll this time, but, uh, you know, that's, that's probably a good thing. 